All right, so here's the golden question for Module C. How do you come up with an idea? Especially given that you may need to write in three very different, well, not very different, Some there are some similarities, but formats. So imaginative, persuasive, and discursive. So one of the key places I like to start when coming up with ideas is having a look at what's going on currently and seeing how you can potentially create something around that. <clears throat> so we're currently going through the COVID-19 crisis as I'm recording this, and there's plenty of topics and material that you could choose from. So let's just brainstorm a couple of those. Um, so we'll put, you know, current issues, um, you know, and yes, it like right now we're going through COVID-19, but there's a lot of sub things that are going on from that or that people have been talking a lot about. So one example could be, you know, the isolation. So social isolation, um, mental illness is a really big one. Um, based on people not being able to associate with each other, privacy, I know that's a big one, especially with the app coming out. Um, there's things like, what else is there? You know, protecting, protecting the weaker people in the community. And when I say weaker, I mean health, <laughs> obviously. Um, what else have we got? We've got things like climate change and the way that we impact the environment humans impact the environment. So obviously the fact that the virus came from a bat and, and sort of the, the you know, like our, and, and they've talked a lot about how interactions with the environment are what's introducing these foreign viruses. So that's kind of the way that we um, are potentially tampering with or impacting the environment. What else is there? Uh, you know, should we be going back to school? Um, <clears throat> people, you know, trying to work at home, work online. How is that for people? Like there's a lot of different things. So let's say we take, uh, for example, this one about isolation and possibly even mental illness. And we have a look at the three different styles of writing. So if you were to turn that into an imaginative piece, the first thing I would suggest doing is making sure that you have a really good setting to start. So you could have a person walking down the street. Um, those of you that have done Ray Bradbury's Module C text, that's very appropriate because <laughs> you've got an individual who's walking down an isolated street and then looking in people watching their TVs and so forth, um, you know. But at the same time, what you could do to, you know, make that your own is that you could, you know, describe the lack of, um, you know, like air traffic noise. It could be, you know, it's going to be silent. It's going to be deserted. But then what comes out of that, you know, so it could be really different things that you start hearing like, you um, birds and different parts of nature you could notice different things um, the smell could be different so lots of different images that could come out of there for an imaginative whereas if you were going to pick something like a discursive or a persuasive piece of writing um, you know a discursive could be something like do we choose health or do we choose the economy and there are clearly pros and cons for both sides so if we're trying to um, protect everyone in the community um, who could be vulnerable to this particular virus then you know that could then be coming at the expense of our economic stability um, you know obviously job security people's people's mental um, health could be coming into that. Um, so lots of things you could just talk about for a discursive or a persuasive that could work really well with looking at human beings impact on the environment, um, which given you know the climate change issues we faced, um, also topical with something that just came before this, which was the bushfires. Again, some really good images you could use from the bushfires for say an imaginative um, with, you know, um, potentially like people standing there describing the smell, what does it look like? It's just decimated. Um, the trees, the animals, like so much there um, to illustrate um, the devastating impact of those fires and possibly then to parallel the devastating impact that human beings can have on the environment. Um, so yeah, lots, lots to choose from there. And so yeah, if you were going to do a persuasive, you could even incorporate a bit of um, description into um, almost like an anecdote, like you could be a person that was reflecting on what was happening in the bushfires. And then you're going into your persuasive piece about our impact on the environment and what we should potentially be doing about that. So that sort of, yeah, that hopefully that gives you an idea of how to um, come up with ideas. There's lots and lots of stuff. So read um, read the news, 
uh, you know, do some research. Once you pick a particular issue, there's so many to choose from. I've had students that have um, picked looking at, you know, detention centres with refugees, um, people that have, you know, transformed aspects of their module A's and B texts, um, taken particular characters and written stories about them. So there's obviously a lot of different ways you can do this. But yeah, I think a really good place to start is look at what's topical, see what interests you, how could you fit those issues into the three different styles. And then in the next video, we're going to go through how to um, incorporate that into the stimulus here and then also how to incorporate techniques from your prescribed text.